like to talk to you for a couple seconds about these tree tubes. If you don't have something to protect your trees where I live, and in a lot of places, you're, you're, you're just wasting your effort. Put all the time into your trees, you put them out, a deer, a rabbit, a mouse, something will get them. And tree tubes are not the perfect answer. Not There's no one particular answer. Fencing them is good. You get a nice, fully exposed sun uh, tree, but it's bushy and you can't mow close to it. And so you got competition, so you're gonna have to lay it down a weed mat. It's enormous amounts of time if you wanna do large plantings. And so I've done tree tubes and I've successfully grown I got 350 chestnuts here and hundreds of other trees here. Oaks, uh, chestnuts, and persimmon are my primary trees that I have in them. Hazelnuts did not tr like tree tubes as much because they are a bush type plant. Uh, but these are Tree Pro uh, Miracle Tubes. They come nested in five. Uh, I've already pulled three out and here's two. They come out, they're nested. They come already with a releasable zip tie that's heavy duty at last three to four years uh, maybe more if you're not messing with them but if you're moving them up and down that fourth year you're probably going to have to replace one or two uh, but a heavy duty zip tie i place them on these are the the five foot pine stake that tree pro uh, sells i've used regular I've, I've talked about pvc pipe before half inch it bends it gives some flex but that they pop, they crack, they get water in them, they freeze. They also heave more easily than any other tube I've used. So I'm not as big a fan uh, of those. I did use rebar, I like those, five foot rebar, uh, half inch rebar, lasts forever. Uh, but again, no flex in that. Uh, they don't heave, uh, but you know, maybe the deer rub a little less. Uh, but then you gotta call, you gotta find a hardware that'll cut that for you, or you gotta cut it yourself. And it's heavy, uh, heavy to manage. Uh, so the pine uh, tree stake uh, is what I'm using now. They last five, six, seven years. And that's about as long as you need for the tree tube. The tree tube, if you look at it a little closer here, has holes on one end and then solid on the other. So the way I set it up is I set it up with the holes on the top and this on the bottom. That's how I set it up because then if you want to spray around the base of the tree, you can spray without really worrying about drift. Just keep it down low and you got that protection. But you have plenty of holes up top that help the tree get moisture, get humidification to bleed off uh, and allows them to harden off in time for winter and uh, be ready to prepare for a winter instead of having a microclimate. If it was all one solid piece, it would stay warm and all of a sudden the freeze would happen and it, it would not be good for the tree. Also allows it to open bud about the same time. Maybe it opens a few days before, but still protected. Then the tree reaches for the top. So you get a little bit of more spindly tree, but as soon as it gets to the top, it puts branches out. And now you've got a nice tree that has a five foot top with at least branches at five foot, maybe six foot if you keep it there. I'm trying to go for six foot. I do put the the top there and if you were going to buy a tree tube maybe you want to buy a six foot the reason why i purchased five foot is i like being able to look down in the tube and if i have a six foot tube i can't see down i just have to lift it up every single time or i have to drive a vehicle along the side and peer down inside so i buy five foot if i have a significant problem with deer topping off the tops which they can i just add a, another 18 inch section that overlaps by six inches later on but it's pretty easy. I drive the stake in, I put the tube on. All right, so I'm gonna put the tube on. I'm gonna put the holes on top. One final thing I wanted to say, there's a perforated line. So if you forget about these, this will perforate open as the tree gets bigger. So the bark can swell against it and pop it open and it won't get choked off. So that's another neat feature. And the price compared to other tree tubes is very, very economical if you're gonna do a large planting. Just feed this in. This tree will grow to the top. It may make it to the top this summer. Just feed it down gently. Put the final row there. I always give it a tap to dig it into the bottom. That eliminates, that eliminates a lot of my any mouse problems. I've really never had a mouse problem. I had one tube where a mouse somehow got in and built a nest up top during the winter, but otherwise I've never really had that problem. Some people have problems with wasp 
I've only had one wasp nest ever. I think that's more common in the south. Uh, anyway, I got this tag I already made. I'm going to put it here. I'll get a more permanent tie there later. It's a miracle tube from Tree Pro, uh, based out of West Lafayette in Indiana. If you live near me, I have some in stock. Otherwise, you can reach out to uh, the folks there at Tree Pro. Tell them John Sangle of Lake Erie Chestnuts mentioned you, uh, and you know he'll take care of you. So thanks for watching the Tree Pro Tree Tube, the Miracle Tube from Tree Pro. Have a great day.